Now, Kenyans are voting in a national election this morning after a campaign season marked by a shift in ethnic alliances and big issues, including the rising cost of living and high unemployment. The two front runners are the 77 year old Ryla Odinga, former Prime Minister, and 55 year old current Deputy President William Ruto. It is a hotly contested race. Uh, we're joined now by the BBC's Emmanuel Agunza from El Doret, the hometown of one of those contenders, William Ruto. Uh, welcome to the programme, Emmanuel. Just as Describe uh, Eldoret this morning, the atmosphere there and uh, what it's like at the polling station near where you are. Uh, good morning from a uh, very chilly Koseche. This is just on the outskirts uh, of uh, Eldoret town and I'm um, at a polling station uh, which is the hometown of uh, Deputy President uh, William Ruto. Quite chilly in the morning but everyone has really braved the cold and uh, still a long queue here. Uh, the Deputy President uh, was the first one to cast his vote from 6am uh, when the polling station started. Uh, he was here very confident together with his wife uh, and immediately after he told me that uh, he was confident of a win and uh, that um, uh, he would accept the outcome of the vote. But people here are really enthusiastic, uh, uh, came out quite early. Some of them came out as early as 5 a.m. and been, they, they had been waiting uh, for uh, the polling stations to begin. And that's uh, sort of like the uh, larger picture of uh, the polling stations uh, across this area. Fascinating. People were queuing up an hour before the polls opened. Yes, indeed. Uh, it be Partly is because uh, the the presidential candidate, uh, Deputy President William Ruto, comes from this area. Many people, this is considered his stronghold. And during the campaign trail, uh, he's been asking people to come out from very early in the morning to cast their vote. And many people do seem to have uh, heeded that call despite uh, the chilly weather here. Right, so turnout's looking pretty healthy then. Yes, the turnout is really great. Um, the uh, Electoral Commission from early morning say that they were really impressed by the huge numbers of people who showed up even way before the polling started. But it's still quite early in the day. Some people might want to go to their farms and then come and cast their votes later. We do expect that the numbers will increase uh, throughout the day uh, as we've seen uh, uh, the lines and the queues uh, at polling stations getting longer and longer. And how long are the polls open for today? Well, the polls will be closing at 5 p.m. Uh, uh, apart from if there were delays uh, in the opening of the polling stations across uh, this huge county. So far, we've not had uh, a any reports uh, about uh, the polling stations uh, uh, opening uh, late. Uh, there were a bit hitches here and there in terms of the electronic kit for a a biometric identification not uh, quick starting quick enough but those have been quickly sorted out and the queues do seem to be moving uh, very smoothly and quickly enough some of the people who uh, uh, came here from very early morning when i was here have already cast their vote and have left um, and uh, seem quite satisfied with the way the process is going right because there was some uh, concern in the days leading up to the polls about the use of manual voter lists versus the electronic system there are a couple of hitches but they've all been ironed out, have they? Well, uh, in this particular county where I am, uh, those issues don't seem to have been very prevalent. Uh, the identification process was that uh, uh, even prior to the election, the voter register had been pinned on uh, the notice board of uh, the polling stations where people could come in and, and check whether their names were there. People also had an, an, an option of sending a short message where they will get their verification of the exact uh, polling station where they will be voting and whether their details were okay and so far in some of the places where I've been we've not really witnessed that and the electoral commission is very confident that if there are bit teachers uh, where uh, a voter doesn't appear that they can re resort to um, a different set of method to identify to make sure that everyone who uh, is a registered voter does uh, get the opportunity to cast their vote. Okay Emmanuel Agunza thank you. Yeah, we were hearing from Mercy Juma in Nairobi a little bit earlier on about some of the delays there. Our colleague Dickens Olewe is uh, also in the capital, Nairobi, and 
describing some, quite some chaotic scenes with the officials trying to contain people who are desperate to vote, people throwing a ballot box around, though order has been uh, restored in that particular polling station. There's plenty more uh, on the BBC website. In fact, if you go to the Africa page, there's uh, lots of updates in real time about what's going on in this key vote. Let's head to the other side of Kenya, to the coast, to Mombasa, where Abubakar Famao, our colleague, is uh, there. We're going to talk about sort of mix up in the ballots a little bit later. But just to start with Abubakar, what's it like uh, where you are in the polling station where you are? Actually, I'm uh, at one uh, Mvita uh, polling station here. It's uh, in the centre of, uh, of the city, Mombasa. Uh, and so far, what I've just noticed here since I came is that uh, until now, uh, voting has not started uh, in the centre. Uh, people have been complaining. They've been here since dawn, some of them as early as 3 uh, o'clock in the morning. But uh, until now, uh, they have not been able I mean, to cast their, their votes. It's now that uh, I, I see uh, some of officials from the electoral commission coming in with the with the materials uh, you know in order to start setting them up here uh, so this is a significant uh, delay i can say the votes were supposed to uh, voting was supposed to start uh, at uh, six o'clock in the morning and uh, now it's almost you know uh, three three hours uh, after so this is a, a big delay and a big disappointment i mean to some of these people uh, how are people reacting is, is there frustration are people resigned to it People are really frustrated, actually. Uh, they feel disappointed because, as I mentioned, they came as uh, very early in the morning. Some of them, you know, three hours before the voting time. And uh, some of them have also expressed their concern that uh, uh, because some have returned home, so the, the chances are very high that uh, the turnout may not be as big as it was, you know, before. Okay. Uh also, Mombasa is, is, is one of a couple of areas where people are not going to be able to vote in the uh, election for governor um, because of a mix-up of the printing in ballot papers. Is that right? Indeed. Uh, that's absolutely true. And this, uh, you know, is Sudi yesterday uh, during the verification uh, process uh, and that's when they, they came to realize that uh, the ballot uh, papers for the governor uh, of Mombasa were not around and those those were around were the ones you know from another uh, county the nearby nearby uh, county Kilifi and uh, this led to the postponement of uh, of the governor uh, poll uh, until you know for the at least for the next uh, two weeks and uh, we, we had some reactions I mean from the locals here uh, regarding the the post Maybe we should just hear some of them here. I kind of feel like the IBC was not very ready for this because it's an inconvenience for very many people. We have to close shops, we have to take a day off to go vote and exercise our right to vote. And uh, the fact that they did not prepare themselves earlier enough for this shows a high level of incompetence on their side. IBC was not ready to conduct this election. That's what I can, I can say. You will go vote for president, MP. Uh, women rep and the rest but governor we will wait some frustrated voters or would-be voters i suppose at least in terms of the uh, the gubernatorial the governorship uh, elections there uh, in general have you got a sense across the country about whether the sorts of delays you're talking about at your particular polling station um, have been seen elsewhere uh, actually, uh, this is the second polling station that I've just, you know, uh, I've visited this morning. And uh, the first polling station, there was a delay, but uh, of uh, uh, half an hour, just a 30 minutes de delay. Uh, but elsewhere, uh, I've not, you know, uh, gotten some, some further uh, details. But uh, I will spend, you know, almost the rest of my day uh, moving around to, to other polling centres and then I will be able to, to have, you know, some enough information uh, probably later. Yeah, Abubakar Famao, uh, in Mombasa there, uh, highlighting the fact that there will be full coverage of these vital elections uh, in Kenya throughout Newsday, of course, and throughout the day on the BBC World Service.